Welcome to The Freelance Teacher. Thank you for tuning in. I have to update you on the coronavirus, COVID-19, Corona Chan era we're in. It's July 1st. So those of you that need to pay your rent and your mortgage and stuff like that, like I do, be, uh, be smart about it and pay your bills. Um, doesn't make sense to try to be strange about that. They will come after you if you try to abscond with their money. But I want to point out something to you that is unique and strange and one of those things where people get on me a little bit about terms like clown world. I I use that on purpose. And let me explain to you why. I live in the Bronx, and about two, two and a half blocks away from me is a playground, a New York City Parks Department playground. And as I speak, it's July 1st, and there are two, two New York City Police Department, blue uniform, sidearm, everything, sitting in the park, making sure that the people there have masks on. How do I know this? Because they were there earlier today and talking to people with no masks, people would leave, the cops would then leave, and then the people would come back. And then repeat the process. Those two same police department officers come, harass, talk to people without masks because you're there with your kids. What child is going to be able to keep a mask on? Or do you want your child to keep a mask on and suffocate? Get hypoxia. So you're And you're outside. And people are tired of the COVID-19 thing. People know how to look at math. They know how to look at numbers. So anyway, so this process was repeated. And, I, and this is throughout the day. It's now around 4 o'clock on July 1st. And the, I drove by the park again, doing my errands, and it was strangely empty. And sure enough, the two police officers now sitting in the playground, just sitting, staying there to make sure that everybody there has a mask on. And there are maybe seven people in the playground. There were 50 earlier today. The sprinkler, sprinkler is on. It's 85 degrees outside and sunny. And the cops are in the playground making sure that everybody has a mask on. And I suspect they're making them leave or writing a summons. I suspect they're not. I doubt they're making them. I doubt they're writing a summons. I doubt that. But I suspect that they're making them leave if they don't have a mask. Now, do you see why I say clown world? We just got through uh, a couple of week period, and to some degree, it's still going on. People were looting stores, breaking plate glass windows, burning fast food joints, tearing down federal property statues or state property statues and monuments. They didn't get a permit to do that. They didn't ask the parks department in the local districts to do that. (laughs) I can't even believe they pulled down the Albert Pike statue in D.C. That's some high-end Freemasonic, New World Order, Rockefeller, W. Bush, Skull and Bones type stuff. Scottish Rite of Freemasonry type stuff. The Pike statue went down. And with all of this chaos and madness. Richmond, Virginia, I'll post a video of Richmond uh, post riot. And my brother's down there and he says it's now even worse. So I'll show you what it looked like when I was there two weeks ago. And it's now apparently twice as bad. Very few arrests. I I would say no arrests, but I'm going to be safe and say that very few arrests because the mayor of New York City, de Blas, Real name Warren Wilhelm, before he changed it 
to Bill de Blasio, he told police to back down. He told police to step back. And people destroyed, looted, and burned private property, people's decades of hard work in running a business, and let it just let it go. They've now dissolved, defunded, right? Remember this defund the police? Well, they've already dissolved, in effect, defunded the plain clothes unit detective squad here in New York City. They're gone. Because we know, you know, the word of the day is that the pol- because of an incident in Minnesota, in Minneapolis, the police are racist. That's how that works. You see how that works for that side? You're supposed to respect those ideas and feelings. Nobody respects yours, of course. I know nobody respects my feelings. Nobody comes down and conveys a a sense of understanding and tries to find common ground with what I believe I'm supposed to. And the parents in that park, their feelings aren't and ideas aren't respected. No, we can have wanton destruction. W-A-N-T-O-N, in case you think I'm talking about wanton soup. If you're a product of the public school system, you probably thought I said wanton, like wanton soup. It's a side issue. Wanton, W-A-N-T-O-N, look it up. So this brand of destruction could be done. Police back down. But if you go to the playground on a sunny day outside, you don't have a mask, get out. Let me show you how more ridiculous this is. I'm going to go out later today with some buddies. We're going to sit outside at a restaurant. Now, you can't eat with a mask on because it blocks your mouth. This hole in your face, that's used to just stuff in organic material, meat, bread, Red wine, right? Just blah. That's what it's for. Can't put it anywhere else. So everybody will be sitting outside, 10 blocks downtown, and eating. And of course, no one is going to be having a mask on their face, except the waiters and waitresses. That's okay. Of course it's okay. But in the playground, there are two blue-wearing, sidearm-carrying NYPD cops sitting in the shade, of course, making sure that people have masks. And you wonder why I say clown world. Why do you wonder why I say clown world? Upside down. And what people don't understand, it's one of the main concepts that they don't teach in school or maybe anywhere else. They used to. It was one of these basic concepts that you get when you, when in the old days when you had civics, when you had a real America, when you had um, a government that for all of its corruption in the real America, I mean, the, let's face it, the government back in the old days wasn't because amazing, uh, let's preserve America. I mean, there were good presidents. Grover Cleveland comes to mind. I get it. There's corruption and foolishness. All you got to do is read a little bit, a little Murray Rothbard, a little Tom Woods. Um, Deirdre McCloskey is a good person to read on this. Zora Neale Hurston, reading through her books, novels, and otherwise essays. You get a feel for what government was about. Anyway, but back then, there was some consistency. And it, the, the, one of the main things was people, the, the government officials knew that Americans were taught leverage. And leverage is huge. And all it takes is peaceful style, this Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr. type stuff where, (laughs) and that sounds grand, it's just a bunch of moms in the Bronx. All they have to do when NYPD comes and says, you have to leave, no, I refuse. And everybody else here is going to refuse too. Come get us all with our children and arrest us after you did not arrest other people. So you can protest and 
yell and scream and hurt and sometimes kill. Remember, David Dorn was killed. The old man, an old black guy, was killed during this whole BLM uh, uh, riot, loot, protest mix. BLM, the group that wants to destroy the nuclear family. Marcellus Wiley on Fox Sports actually talked about it well. Don't know who he is, look him up. Before you start calling me names and calling him names. So before all of this got started, right, you could see... This, you know, the, the Black Lives Matter material, the, the root, looting, all of this stuff. There's even a picture of celebrating Pride Month on the New York Times on the Sunday paper. Sunday, June 28th, I believe it was, of a young woman, just joyous, rainbow shirt, celebrating Pride. She has no mask on. They're laughing at you. They know you don't know a damn thing about leverage. And if those moms in the playground near me in the Bronx, and it's a mix, you got black people, Hispanic people, white people, Jewish people. It's a really naturally diverse place where I am. You know know what the common denominator is? They want a nice neighborhood, a decent neighborhood with some decent school choice. That's really it. And those people all have that in common. That's why my neighborhood is the way it is. And they were never taught leverage. All the moms, a unit, even in groups of 10 or 15, we're not leaving because we don't have a mask. We saw other people with no masks and they didn't get arrested Oh, two weeks ago. Go arrest them first. And they destroyed stuff. And there's cameras everywhere. Case in point. I have to pay a red light camera thing when I get home. I have to pay it. But if I were on Fordham Road and I threw a a cinder block through a window and stole some stuff, chances are I'd just get away with it. So now I law-abiding citizen, I take the loss. Brick-throwing protester takes stuff, keeps it, sells it, whatever. No arrest, no fine. Where's the people getting arrested for that? I don't see them. And these moms in the playground, they need to know that. And that's what leverage is. Take us all in. You're going to be recorded, by the way. You're going to be the police officer. You two are going to be the ones on camera arresting mothers with their little children or giving them summons. We're going to record it, Officer Smith and uh, Officer uh, Johnson. And you're going to and, and we'll see how this goes and we'll raise a big, big stink. So that's what's happening now. That's uh, July 1st. And we have Clown World in full effect. And the last part of this, this last minute, I'll, 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 I think, tie this up neatly. Not only is it the idea of leverage that's not out there, and it should be. It's the idea that we are... People are just victims or people are subservient, kind of like whatever the government says we must do. And that's taught in the schools. I only know one newscaster, Tucker Carlson, of all people on Fox, asked a governor, what gives you the authority to close a business? Where in the Bill of Rights does it say you can do that? And of course, the guy waffled and said, it's above my pay grade and we didn't even think about it. Well, I thought about it. Tucker Carlson thought about it. Owen Benjamin thinks about it. Lots of people think about it. But we're, we have been teaching. I, not, I don't anymore, but we teach in the schools basically these days nothing except obey authority. Obey authority. 
that's pretty much all we do. And you'll see people that, oh, they're so weird. That guy who runs the School Sucks Project, Brett Vanat. Oh, that's, oh, he says stuff like this. Or those wacky libertarians in New Hampshire. You know, there's a great video called The Tiny Dot. And that's what we teach. And they're like, oh, all, all we do in the public schools is teach obey authority. And it sounds like a parody. It sounds like a, 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 a lazy bit of analysis, but it shows you that it's true. Nope, you can't be in this playground unless you, your three-year-old daughter and you are wearing a mask. Even with all the other stuff that's gone on. And people listen. Just say, I mean, I, at least put up a fight. No, why? We're outside. Show me. Oh, the mayor said, I don't care what the mayor says. Arrest me, give me and everyone else a summons while you're being recorded. And remember, especially in the zeitgeist of today, a lot of those moms are black, Hispanic, Jewish. I live in the Bronx. I'm not in Bozeman, Montana or Keene, New Hampshire. This is the Bronx. And it's just those little bit, those little bitty tiny concepts haven't been injected into the mind. So I'll see if I can, I'll keep my ear to the ground and see if I hear any other things about this. But that's it, really. Reporting from Clown World, my version of it in the Bronx. Now you know why I say Clown World, because only in an upside down clown car type world is this kind of thing going on. And it didn't before. So don't think it did. And I'm just showing you it didn't. It wasn't like this. And we'll see if they're going to make it permanent. I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to us. It's up to me. Talk to you next time.